Surprise, surprise, Red Hulk and his Scourge event are bugged. And in this video, we're discussing what you need to be aware of when you're doing your War Scourge run and what you need to be aware of if you're already using Ralk. Plus, Scopely is once again reviewing their internal process to reduce the bugs and errors introduced into the game. But the Valley Club had a theory on why so many bugs are coming back. We're talking about all of these things and some other bugs that were not addressed in yesterday's blog post. So if you're ready for all of that, find that like button, Valley Club. Let's go smash it! Valley Flyer. Hello, hello, hello. What is up, Valley Maniacs? I am Valley Plan. Welcome back to the Valley Plan channel. And yeah, I, I don't know if you should be surprised or just uh, expecting this, but the Scourge event for Red Hulk has some bugs. Red Hulk is also bugged. We're gonna talk about all of that stuff so you're aware of that, so you can make some adjustments for these characters until these get fixed. Also, there is a theory from the Valley Club on why there are so many bugs that are coming back. And I'm not in software development, but this, Sounds very logical. Now, if this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button for more great Marvel Strike Force content, at least five videos per week, Marvel Strike Force videos per week on this channel. So if you want the latest and greatest news, top 10 lists, uh, mailbag videos, answering all your questions and more, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, welcome back. We're talking all about these bugs that are uh, going on right now. So let's start with these Scourge event bugs, the things that were not described I mean, yesterday's blog post about all the fixes that are coming to Marvel Strike Force. So first thing is uh, these are the known issues page. This gear finder got bumped to the top again. Uh, this is this is a major bug in my opinion, especially because we just finished this energy spending event and it was not fixed during that event. What kind of compensation are we gonna get for that? Are we gonna get more progress in those milestones that already passed? Are they gonna retroactively uh, send us some compensation for that? We will see. We do know there's some compensation coming, so hopefully this is fixed very, very soon. And at least according to last, yesterday's blog post, it does look like there's a new version that is needed to fix this because uh, while they have attempted a few fixes on the server side, it looks like this bug is client side. And again, this was a bug that was not there before. And we got some theories. We're gonna talk about the theories that uh, may be correct but let's talk about these war scourge bugs there's two war scourge bugs going on right now the last node combat error our team is aware that players are experiencing a combat error in the last node of scourge war the team has rolled out a fix and players may need to restart their run for this fix to apply so if you're on node 10 and you got all the way through node 5 uh, you know manage through some of that rng unfortunately you might not be able to do that. You might have to restart to run in order for that progress to uh, be be set in there and for your score to count. All right, the other thing, war scourge points not counting correctly. So not only are, are some people not able to finish the last node because of a bug, it looks like even though you complete the run, complete your, uh, complete your battles, you may not get the points counted towards your milestones and towards the leaderboard. We're aware of an issue that affects some players in the War Scourge where points are not added correctly to a user's first few attempts. <laughs> not just the first attempt, first few attempts. And I like that they're very vague here because of course everything that they say is something to change. The team is working diligently on a fix in the meantime as a workaround kindly restart your run then try the first note again until the points start to count so keep doing the run keep finishing the run and if they're not counting i would suggest just going through on difficulty one and you know getting getting it through as quick as possible and uh, hopefully all the points count there uh thank you for your patience we apologize this for this inconvenience all right so uh just keep resetting it guys if your points aren't counting and Hopefully it'll work. The other thing that's going on is Red Hulk's passive may be triggering more than once. Now, when I was uh, doing the battle yesterday, I was going through that a little more quickly than normal, not analyzing everything. So I'm not sure if that counted in my war attack, but our team is aware of uh, the issue and working to fix that Red Hulk's passive ability, seeing red is granting seven ability energy 
more than once in war. So this was supposed to be added uh, once per war. And I think they added that text before this character was released. And the passive seeing red, how it reads in game on turn, he'll sell for 20% of this character's max health. At the end of any turn, when this character has five more charge, gain seven ability energy and fill this character's speed bar by 50%. This can only trigger once per match and only once per war. So this line was added once per war. I think that was added just so that uh, it's not gonna be challenging if you're using, or if you're facing some of this gamma team that is on defense. And I don't think this is gonna affect you too much of using them on offense, but it may be going off more than once per battle. So interesting issue there. Now, yesterday we did get a blog about some of the fixes that are coming. And let me go ahead and forward you to that last line of the blog. Balance Entertainment takes this issue seriously and the team is reviewing their internal process. Now, a few months ago, we got another commitment uh, back on July 8th that the team was reviewing their internal process. So what they said back then, we strive to offer the best experience possible. We've fallen short of delivering that recently. Yeah, I mean, a lot, a lot. The, re the leadership team is developing uh, development team is currently auditing our process, working to quickly address the links in the chain that contribute to the number of recent problems. Well, obviously they have not been addressed because since July 8th, many, many more bugs have appeared and 6.4 may be the worst update from a bug and error perspective that I can remember. Yes, there were some major ones, but we are over a week into this update. And uh, in my opinion, that finder button is a pretty major bug still not fixed. The, uh, these issues are learning experience for the team. Uh, yeah. Uh, take that learning, the learning experiences with a grain of salt, guys, for the team and changes are being made to address the weak spots. This include, but not leading to improving testing requirements for quality assurance, longer lead times and more rig around data implementation, development of additional tools to mitigate errors. Now, on Friday, the, the, uh, the initial addressing of these uh, errors, Cerebro was actually on Reddit responding to a lot of the questions. So how about the Phantom buffs? They've been fixed a couple of times, but are back again now. So Cerebro's response was, did we actually fix those? I don't recall us announcing that. I'm not downplaying the issue. I simply want to clarify if we stated that somewhere. Now, specifically, I've been calling them phantom buffs and debuffs. They are actually just phantom debuffs, mainly on the enemy team. I've only noticed them on the enemy team, not noticed them on my team, but yeah, they are still present. And this comment here, uh, I was not aware that this was actually going back to version 5.2, where it said that uh, this was actually fixed a couple years ago forgetting about the mistakes. Let's actually go to that blog post. And this is from March 16th. That was a long time ago. If you don't remember 5.2, well, that was the update that changed a lot in Marvel Strike Force. That is the update that we had the second coming of the meta. Silver Surfer was released then, Multiple Man and Polaris. Those are very, very old characters. That is how long ago this bug was fixed. And I noticed it coming back around the time of Darkhold. Uh, this may have been back sooner, but I noticed it dark hold because that ability to block on Morgan Le Fay, well, it wasn't working. It, it said it had an ability to block there. When you hover over the icon though, it's had a zero next to it. So while it is a visual bug, it is a it potentially game breaking bug because when you're looking at these characters, you're thinking they're ability to block or not. I, I think previously in 5.2, it was on bleeds on raid characters and I didn't notice it, but uh, it, it was there. So what it said, resolved an issue where negative effect icons were sometimes still displayed above a character after the effect had been removed or expired. That is exactly what's going on right now. I'm not sure why it wasn't in these recent bugs and a theory that the Valley Club had on this is that they said it's possible the devs are working on older versions of the games. Each department is doing their own thing and not really communicating with each other. And their theory is that they're working on older versions of the game. So when they finish their work, well, all these bugs are reintroduced because of the work that they did on older versions of the game. So if that is the case, uh, I, I, I think the departments need to uh, communicate a lot better with each other because then you'd have some clarity and actually having each developer when they were working on different things in the game work on the most current version of the game where previous bugs have been fixed and then not be lazy and work on old version of the game where those bugs were still present. 
I'm not working in software development or anything like that, but that seems very logical and that seems like what is happening at Scopely. Let's move on here. Glad you guys are figuring out the issues. I suppose the QA team was working hard and Cerebro's response was, everyone here works hard. I know that perceptions can be contrasting and if I were on the outside, I might see it that way too. Yeah, I'm on the outside and it uh, does not look like everybody's working hard right now. The perpetual challenge is time constraints not motivation or initiative so uh and this was a response i thought this was a very good response so i did want to highlight this uh this comes from a cover 01 and this was again from five days ago i work in software development and this is a bad sign if your schedule is causing overall poor quality poor user experience breaking legacy functionality and creating new escape defects with every new update then what is being done to change it? Just keeping your head down and working harder does not fix the problem. Scopely is operating like a company on the brink of financial ruin, just trying to survive from quarter to quarter and we're missing single piece update of new content will force you all to file chapter 11. Why not have your next update be a maintenance release where you just fix existing bugs and adequately test I double dog dare you to do this. And uh, this is from a senior software developer, spot on uh, from another sp uh, software developer. I'm in full alignment with, with this senior developer and more software. I use this software and a spot on scope of software. This spot on, yeah. So slowing down the content would help things. And if they are working on older versions of the game and introducing those back into the game, that would explain bugs like the T-Pose that was fixed and is coming back. Loki had his costume working at one time and now it's not working and uh, never, President Loki, I, I still have not seen him in combat for a long time. So that would explain a lot of these things and hopefully the devs are watching this hopefully the folks over at scopely are watching this and hopefully they actually do change their process this time you know reviewing their internal process if that is what is going on well that is a serious serious issue let's move on there is another bug that is going on right now what about war players constantly getting stuck in weird positions making them impossible to select would you please care clarify as where players are getting stuck now as far as my experience this is not just in war i also experienced this in raids uh but yeah this is where a player goes off the screen and you can't see them and you can't really attack them uh, if I'm right, this issue is where someone during battle character, during battle, a character will randomly disappear from view and no longer be targeted. Yeah, I've had that happen to my characters. I've had that happen to enemy characters on stream. I thought the devs were addressing this, but it looks like they are unaware of this issue. It's consistent when it, for when it happens now, but I know it was still happening a year and a half ago uh, when Infinity Watch was meta, and I noticed that still with Infinity Watch. Sometimes Gamora disappears, sometimes Nebula disappears, sometimes Adam Warlock disappears. And because it's those three characters, I'm wondering if it has something to do with that revive once mechanic. Not sure, uh, no no uh, insight on this, but yeah. Uh, the original user says the other comments are correct. After a player, after attacks, players either get stacked together or disappear entirely so they aren't targetable by a human player. Often after AOE full team attack, they will uh, reset themselves, but before that, they can't be selected. So that is another error. Hopefully, Scopely adds this to their known issues page because uh, they seem unaware of these phantom debuffs that have returned. And last but not least, now this is not an error, but this is just some lazy design that's been introduced to the game. This up to the start times, and this was all the way back on August 26th that this was introduced. And there's been a lot of problems since they started to update the start time. So previously, uh, events would start at 5 p.m., which is Pacific, which is exactly when the server resets. Uh, on this time, on this date, they changed that to 2 p.m., which leaves that three-hour gap between when uh, some events start and when other events start. Typically, end the workday, and we expect the earlier time will increase the quality of events by giving us more time and resources to address event details and issues as they may arise the day that they occur. Yeah, that usually happens, but I have not noticed an improvement in the quality or user experience or anything since this change went live. I've only noticed errors and things not aligning and confusion. So hopefully this is something that is addressed. Like I said, this is not really an error or a bug. It just seems like a short-sighted game design. And that is it, guys. Those are the errors in the Scourge event. Those are what's happening in, with Red Hulk. Uh, the Phantom debuffs, they are 
back. I I forgot that they were there before, but it looks like this is an old bug that has returned. And like I said, and I started to notice this around the time of Dark Old. Who knows how long this was present in the game after they fixed it the first time. So hopefully these process, hopefully this video has helped them to review their process. Make this a fun game again. Make this an error-free game or reduce the errors in the game. And hopefully their process really get audited this time and reviewed. So that is it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully Scopely takes this video and actually uh, starts to implement some of these things. If you did enjoy it, hit that subscribe button for more great Marvel Strike Force content. We got some good stuff coming up later in this week, so hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell as well so you know as soon as new videos go up. And I will see you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Stay hydrated. Check out some of the links down below. Check out some of my other videos up there. And I'll see you at the top. Give me that Hulk fist bump valley flying. Out.